Trigger Spoons, Trigger Spoon Magnums, Trigger Spoon Pros, Trigger Spoon Juniors, Speed Spoons, Speed Spoon Pros. Looking for spoons for your trout fishing adventure? Think FHS Spoons. You can check them out at fishhuntshoot.com. Fish on. Fish on the orange trigger spoon. 2.4 miles an hour. Just keep forward momentum. Got that camera in the line, so you know that gives him something to fight against, and that's not good. So you want to keep the line tight. It's down about, I don't know, 24, 25 feet on the strike there. Orange trigger spoon, about 2.4 miles an hour. Another pan size rainbow. Right there. Woo! <laughs> Quick release on that one. That was cool. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Got a viewer question from Tracy today. And the question is, what size trolling swivels do I use? And uh, I'm sorry to say, I don't know what size trolling swivels I use. Um, I know the ones that I feature in my kits in the store are rated for 22 pounds of pressure. And uh, I'm always using, you know, a leader that's eight or 10 pound test. So beyond that, as long as the swivel is preventing twists from being transmitted from my lure to my main line, I don't really worry about the size of the swivel. Um, there's a lot of companies that make fine, you know, trolling swivels. Max lures are great. P lines are great. A lot of the ones you buy, they don't come with the cross lock snap attached. You can tie your line directly to the, you know, the bead chain swivel. That's fine. Um, I prefer to put a snap on mine just because it makes changing leaders and, and stuff like that a lot, a lot simpler. But to, in short, as long as the trolling swivel has more strength than your leader, significantly more strength, and as long as it's not allowing line twist to transfer from your lure to your main line, I don't think the size of the swivel is a big deal. Um, they are absolutely indispensable. You want to be using one because line twist is a pain in the butt. And, and line twist will bite you at the worst possible time. It always crops up when the fish are biting. So no matter what, uh, what brand trolling swivel you're using, no matter what size, make sure you use one. And again, I don't think size is a critical issue. I always like to put that bead above mine so I can see where it's at. I never want to reel it up into the eye of my rod. But uh, I wish I knew what size I was using, but I don't. Anyway, I hope that helped you out, Tracy, and I hope it, uh, it gives the guys out here on the channel something to think about. You always want to be using that trolling swivel. It just limits frustration and uh, keeps things going smoothly. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off for now. If you're looking for trout gear, you know where to go, fishhuntshoot.com. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. And uh, please leave a question down in the comments, and I might answer it here on video. You never know. Sure appreciate all the support, guys, and I will catch you next time. Be safe out there. Wear your life jackets.